Hello, Periscope. <laughs> Dude, I always, I always love that handle. Yeah, like the, it's the, cool, the, right? The swinky, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a jib. Everybody at home right now, you're getting like a super steady. Everybody at home right now, you're getting a super steady look. <laughs> I'm actually doing this interview now through a mirror into the into the camera. See, I'm looking at you through the mirror. It's like Inception. It's like Inception. It's like a dream within a, within a dream. dream within a within periscope. A I have a dream. Within a dream? Wait, what? <laughs> but that was like, I, okay, for a second I thought you were singing Les Mis. I dreamed a dream, but then I the confrontations changed, Then my, I remembered who I was talking the to. The confrontation's my favorite Les Mis. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Javert and, yeah. And Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean. Um, well, <laughs> good morning, Periscope. That's what we uh, do every morning. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to GMA. Uh, I know our periscope is um, a little ill-timed because you were just doing some very important studying yeah, on a very yeah. important topic. Yes, so coming up in Pop News today, uh, we're talking about Tyra Banks, who's actually going to be teaching an MBA class at Stanford University. It's kind of big news. That's really cool, yeah, it, It's really cool, and it's an incredible university. And of course, Tyra Banks is this amazing businesswoman, and she's basically teaching these MBA students about personal branding. So one of the things we're kind of laughing about is, you know, is she going to teach these people how to smize? Which, like, if I signed up for Tyra Banks, class that would be the one thing I mean sure she's a major mogul yeah. model you know personal brand expert as you were saying but when I sign up for a Tyra Banks class I'm really let's be honest signing up for smize lessons which like so right and like how do you smize right and she's obviously mastered it she's made millions of dollars because she can do it apparently she teaches her America's Next Top Models students how to do that um, and I'm, I'm going through this script and I'm thinking you know I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can ask the other hosts if they can do it. Yeah. But then of course it's gonna get turned on me and they're gonna ask me. It always it. does. So how do you smile? So there's actually I was just when you guys were walking in on YouTube trying to get a smize tutorial from Tyra Banks. You wanna try it with me? Yeah. Well, okay. I just want to time out for a second and let those of you who might not know what smizing is. Right. It's like a pose. It's smiling with your eyes. I think is like basically. That's what it is. But yeah, I'll which, try it with which you. Which sounds really hard. Okay. So the first thing you have to do, according to Tyra. Is fine, good lighting. Uh, well, we'd have fluorescence in here, so. Nineteen seventy seven. Tori, quick, run up, grab a flashlight. Yeah. Per perfect. Second thing is, don't move your mouth. Okay. Third thing is, think of something that makes you very happy. Ice cream, puppies. And let it all come out. I'm thinking about ribs right now. <laughs> Does it look like I'm smiling with my eyes? See, I don't know. It, it's probably... It's... Uh, I would give you a solid four out of ten. But See, you just like... started your lessons. Here, yeah. I want to try this. Okay. My my issue, and I literally smized this weekend with just on an unrelated <laughs> note. I spent a lot of time smizing this weekend. No, my problem is I always move my eyebrows, but you're not supposed to. Like, really? It, it, it really has it, to be just like be the, yeah. eye focused. Okay, okay, you go. Um, I was kidding about the 4 out of 10 thing. You, you rocked no, the no, size. No, no, you're just saying okay. that, so I'll do it on live TV. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> we, we, need more, we need more eye shadow. I, I feel like that would like, that really help it, help it pop. I think it would help it pop. Um, but yes, yeah, so Tyra Banks and Pop News, smizing aside, if you had to... Here's, here's my question, and I asked this actually on the wake-up call. Aside from Tyra, if you could take a class from any celebrity... In any subject, what would it be? And I can, if you need to think about it, or no, like, well, so like, I don't know, this, this might be way off, but the first thing I thought about was like Daniel Day Lewis method acting. Whoa. That's deep. That is deep. Because that dude, I feel like he gets, he, he like dives in. Yeah. Like he was doing a movie, like he, I read once that he's filming this movie in like Italy and he was, he was like directing a play, but I guess he wanted to like go over. And really, sort of get the foundation of his character and where he's from. He became a bootmaker somewhere in Italy, like a cobbler. Like he just did this just to for get like for, for months and months and months. That's apparently insane. Jared Leto. Uh, Jared Leto on in, um, in um, Suicide Squad. Like stayed in character the entire time. Right, and like sent like, was people the like all kinds of wacky gifts. He sent. I don't even want to say some of them are so messed up, but. Yeah. Some like ones that we can say. He sent a rat to Margot Robbie. Good. He's <laughs> good. Um, he sent a dead pig 
to not Will good. Smith. Not yeah, good. not good, not good. And then some other stuff that's like even crazier than that. Wow. Whatever. So I mean, like, listen, I, like the the learning how to method act. Is, it's not like you know Daniel Davis is gonna roll in here and be right. like, after six hours, you know how to do this. Yeah. yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. What would you do? Um, mine would also have to do with acting too. I think, but I would want like Meryl Streep probably to like teach me how to win an Oscar yeah how to win an Oscar, Oscar nine, exactly or however many she's yeah, won. yeah get yeah. nominated for like 20 of them yeah I'm always impressed with her range too because she can like go from like you know a musical to a comedy to like a scary movie yeah. to a like intense drama where she's playing Margaret Thatcher what about what about Mario Vitale teaching us how to cook or how to wear cargo shorts and Crocs yes and rock it every day yeah all day all <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, orange Crocs AF. Um, okay, I got I gotta ask you. Uh, Drake White is here this morning. Yeah. Um, you know him. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You've uh, I, spent a, a we, night in we, the woods. We spent yeah, we spent a night in separate tents. <laughs> <laughs> elevated. In, Sorry. <laughs> ele, ele, elevated in trees. Yeah. In the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. Those it, elevated it, tents were wild. It was awesome. Yeah. Were you ever worried that they were gonna like? No, it, you know. Not really. Um, we had a massive thunderstorm that night. That that was like b a bigger issue. Plus, there was a black bear attack nine miles away from us. So that was also. So it was like a really safe and like not yeah. stressful. And, trip. There, and, and there may have been like a poisonous snake coiled up like on the outside yeah, of our camp. Yeah, there was like yeah. there was like danger everywhere. And like a crazy prison break like yeah. at, the, at the local yeah, prison. Yeah, it was it was awesome. But uh, <laughs> he's su he's super talented. Like yeah. like this guy. You guys got to tune in and watch GMA. Watch Drake White. He's. He's a buddy, but this, he, he can straight out. He can rock. He'll kill it. Um, speaking of killing it, you are gearing up for double duty GMA yeah. college football starting soon. What are you most excited about slash looking forward to? So I love like the thing about college football. And I what, part of it, well, it's obviously the football, but but it's going <laughs> to these towns. Like a lot of these great campuses are in little towns that otherwise you, you wouldn't spend a lot of time in. You never seem to kind of get get around through. Whenever we're traveling around the country, it's always in big airports and you're flying around. So our first our first Thursday games in Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, Neyland Stadium, which holds like 110, 115,000 people. It's, it's one of my favorite like venues for sports in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to play against them when I was in college. I love that. And then our, our, our game on Saturday is Clemson against Auburn. So I'm actually flying out today to go watch Clemson practice and meet with their coaches and players and then driving to Auburn, Alabama to do the same with them tomorrow. And this is like my favorite time of the year. Like I... I like I live for this stuff. It's awesome. Just the passion, the fans, the tradition, the, everything about college football is so exciting. Um, and I rack up straight air miles, which I'll use on a trip to Ibiza next summer. Nice. Do you get tired at all? Yes. Yeah. Cocaine totally helps that. <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Starbucks is yeah. Starbucks is our anti drug. That, that, that's my code name for Starbucks. Yeah. Cocaine. <laughs> good. Good. Um, Tell me about your Snapchat. How's it going? Uh, it's good. Oh, so yeah, uh, uh, these guys created a monster. Um, they finally got me on Snapchat, and dude, I love it. It's been it's, see, it's been awesome to the point where maybe too much. Uh, but it's it's uh, it's addictive, and I'm gonna have to be careful with that during the season because like yeah. you could live on it. Yeah. And you, by the way, you're a great you're. Will's great to follow on Snapchat. He gives you great ideas. I mean, and just in like, he just shows you how to do it properly. Tori also, by the way, very yeah. good on Snapchat. Oh, hello. Look, there she is. <laughs> there she is. Tori, if, if you need to take Jesse to set, let us know. No, no, we're get good. In trouble. We're okay. good for now. All right, good. That's my producer, Tori. So she, she basically tells me, she grabs me by the throat and like drags me by my ear to, to like set when I need to be there. But like it's in a very good. mild way. She's very nice and very well behaved. Thanks. Yeah. Which like, you know, you get pretty distracted around here. There's like a lot to do. I've had a lot of concussions. I, 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 I get, I got ADD from. Are you gonna ride the mechanical bull? Uh, I, I have to, no. I have to go to the airport because it's like, and that's a good thing. Oh yeah, we all have to go to the airport. <laughs> Can't ride the mechanical bull. <laughs> what was last time? What was last time everybody here rode a mechanical bull? Uh, mine was about thirty uh, minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I did it this morning. It, how'd you do? Uh, I did pretty well. I, I was like, your video was great. Thank you. I was impressed with myself. Really? Yeah. Did they crank it up? Like, did they take it easy on you? Did they crank? Because you know they have different levels. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're getting a nod. No, actually. Like, like doing a camera nod. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I also, a couple weeks ago, so this is really, really weird of me to say at this point because it's way long in the past, but I thought we were going to be talking on the wake-up call and then one thing or another happened. But anyway, some people tweeted me questions that they wanted me to ask you. Oh, yeah, so I've just like had these in my back pocket for a while. And now that we're here... <laughs> um, 
There he is. There's Mike. Hey. There's Mike. What's up, oh, yeah. dude? Yeah. Old camping yeah. buddies reunited. Yeah. yeah. Tree, tree tent buddies. <laughs> 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 campfire singer. Man, all time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> um, one of the questions that was tweeted at me, do you have a favorite meal? We've seen all these hashtag eat like Jesse Instagram posts and videos for, you know, dot com and on GMA. Do you have a favorite meal? If I was going to, you know, kill you later today, what would you want your last meal to be? So, uh, my, my favorite restaurant in the world is in, is in London, England. It's called Zuma. It's in Knightsbridge. And they do this Wagyu beef tartare with a black shaved truffle on top. And if I was like on a deserted island, or Will Gans was gonna kill me later today, I would. Which I would. Might happen. <laughs> that would be my final. That would be my final. He's not smizing right now. <laughs> that, was that would probably be my final meal. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's, so the next time I'm in, where is it? Uh, Knightsbridge in London. Anybody at home, if you're ever in London, and you're, you're thinking about going all the way up, you want this wagyu beef tartare oh, with wagyu. the black shit. I know. I've had that song in my head like last couple of days. All the way up. Dun, 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 dun. Tori. Tori's bouncing over there. Watch it. She's bouncing. All the way up. Oh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> um, it's a fat Joe. You're asking the Terror wrong squad. guy. It's a fat Joe and Terror Squad. Uh, let's see. Anyways. Yeah, get on that. Um, <laughs> my brother tweeted me and wanted to know if you're going to College Station this year. Yeah, I'm sure I will be. He's a senior in a frat. <laughs> And, um, his life doesn't suck. His life does not no. suck. But so if you go and you meet John Gans, drinks on him. <laughs> drinks on him. <laughs> yeah. They don't yeah. drink beer in College Station. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, they don't yeah. do any of that. That is an aw- that's that's an awesome College Station's awesome. Yeah, I always hope we we have we have games from there on the schedule. Fraternities, College Station. It's uh, it's a scene. Gigum. Yeah, gigum. Yep, yep. 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 My brother right. and my sister both went there, and then I wound up here talking about riding smizing. Bulls. <laughs> you're, you're riding mechanical bulls. Yeah, so yeah, it's so like, you know, it's like... a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, all right, uh, let's see. What else do I need to talk to you about? Uh, also in pop news... Um, Some Clorox wipes just here around on the table. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like grabbing it as like a prop. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, remember, he's like a scape. Sponsored, yeah. This Periscope today. <laughs> sponsored by Smizing and Clorox wipes. Uh, we're also talking about Thor and Loki, yeah. Chris Helmsworth, and uh, Tom Hiddleston on set in Australia. Yeah. Um, if you could be any superhero, if you could join that franchise, we've got, obviously... Chris Hemsworth is Thor, yep. you know, uh, what's his face is Captain America. What's that guy's name? Chris Evans? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. If you had to play a superhero, who would you play? Uh, I, I would probably go, I'd probably go, I'd probably go Batman. I could actually but, see that. But he's, he's, okay, so, James, this is, this, this is kind of like a, an offshoot of your question. James Bond, to me is the one movie character in the world that I would trade yesterday for. He's not technically a superhero, but like, what is James Bond not good at? The guy travels around the world, he's a license to kill people, he always gets the girl, dresses well, drives the fastest cars, has great one-liner jokes, his comedic timing is legendary, yeah. he's got a cool accent. I mean, what... <laughs> You know? What is there not to want yeah. about that? Life? Yeah, James Bond. Like, I, I feel like if you put James Bond in the Avengers right now, I think he does okay. I, I if, if, if someone had drafted, if Captain America drafts James Bond in the Civil War, yeah. his team probably wins. I mean, right. it, it was close. He might have won anyway, but it was like, it was close. Iron Man probably should have got him. Yeah. You know? Fair. By the way, how did Ant Man play? Like, Ant Man actually tilted that fight like he so much bigger did. than I thought he would. Until I saw that movie, I didn't know that Ant Man could get big, which he, is kind he, of like counterintuitive to what his name is. I think, I think they had to like find a way for him to have an impact on that fight because at first, like, as soon as someone drafts Ant Man, I'm like, well, you, uh, yeah, that's like going to the basketball court and playing pickup basketball and drafting like a guy that's three foot four, mm-hmm. like, like. So early. you, so you mean me in fifth grade? Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, when like, I was playing elementary basketball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No matter how much you're smizing at the guy picking. <laughs> it's like you, you, you shouldn't get picked. If like, it, like, if it as been, early as Ant Man was, right? Uh, it should, if it had been a smizing uh, tournament, if I had been, I would have been drafted first. Yeah, yeah early. But alas, it was basketball, and I was the three foot four guy <laughs> trying to play <laughs> competitive basketball. Um, all right, this is a good. Uh, is this Periscope? Yeah, yes. this is a good Periscope uh, session. I feel like. Yeah, I'm really uh, happy with. We kind it. of bounced around. I think we touched on 15 different topics. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Are people asking Jesse any questions? Do we have any questions from Periscope? Uh, Jackson said totes awkward somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Just, that, that's times. how we do. It's funny, because yeah. that's the title of my memoirs, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, 
Hashtag. Um, you're getting the sign from Tori, which I think right. means that... I'm smizing. <laughs> and actually uh, smiling. Sure. I'm, now, I'm, now, I'm, now getting, I'm now getting two two calls. So yeah. if I start butting up my collar, this means I have to actually go to this work. This means things are actually yeah. happening. Yeah. All right, it's well, real. Uh, you're flying out today for a college bet. College football. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We were just whoa. talking about basketball. That's a quick Snapchat handle. People are asking. Snapchat handle. What's your Snapchat oh, handle? It's, uh, it's uh, Jesse James, like the cowboy, QB3. J E S S E J M E S QB3. All thanks to Will. Yeah, you're welcome. And mine is. Mine is at Will, W I L L G A N S S. At Will Gans. Pretty easy. Um, Jesse, thank you very much. Dude, fine. Let's do this again. Safe yes. travels. Thank you. We'll uh, see you back here next week. Happy smizing. We'll see you back here next week. Happy smizing. And uh, we'll also see you on GMA in just a couple minutes. He's got pop news and a lot more for us. Bye bye.